Hi, I'm Grant Graubman, and today I'm going to talk to you about the tetrahedron of states and a simple introduction to bond graphs for dynamic systems. So first of all, I've drawn the tetrahedron of states right here. Um, up at the top, you've got your effort. Um, going clockwise, we've got displacement. At the bottom, flow. And then on the 9 o'clock, we've got momentum. And in the center, we've got resistance. So what these are, these are all the components of what uh, makes up a uh, electrical, mechanical, or fluid system. So if we were to uh, s tell what effort was for a mechanical system, we'd label that as a force. And for displacement, that would be uh, displacement in meters. And flow would be velocity. And momentum would be momentum. Now, what this will do, uh, tetrahedron of states, is you can use this to relate an electrical system to a mechanical system, or a fluid system to mechanical, etc. So, um, for effort for a voltage, or for an uh, electrical system, you'd have voltage. Uh, for a displacement, you'd have a charge. For flow, you'd have uh, current. And for momentum, you'd have your flux. And you can do this for fluids too. Up at the top, effort would be uh, pressure. Your flow would be uh, volumetric, volumetric flow rate. And um, so, uh, and then of course, all of them have their own resistance. It's uh, pretty straightforward. So you can use this to help you you uh, go between a mechanical and electrical component inside the same system, relate them to one another, so you can solve. Uh, your whole system. Let's make a simple system now. So here we got an electrical system. So all I've drawn so far here is a uh, voltage source, a resistor, a capacitor, and an inductor. So we can label those. Alright. Um, so you've got your flow coming from that way. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to label these uh, in a bond graph format so you can see. Um, first of all, your uh, voltage is your source, so this is going to be your source uh, L or effort. Uh, voltage, uh, if you go back to the tetrahedron of states, we said for the effort up at the top, uh, voltage was the effort for uh, electrical systems. So. Then we move on to resistance. Resistance is just R. We've got the capacitor. Label that as a C. And then finally the inductor. Label that as an I. Okay, so I'm going to start by drawing the source L by effort. Now I'm going to draw a line with an arrow pointing in the left direction, or sorry, the right direction, because that's the way that I'm showing that it's uh, the system is flowing, and that's going to go into a uh, junction. And a junction can either be a zero or a one. Those are your two kinds of junctions. So for an electrical system a zero junction is going to be any junction that's in parallel with another, uh, like two things in parallel. And then a one is going to represent series. So this first junction that we're coming into has a resistor in series with the voltage. So I'm going to put a one down here. And then I'm going to draw a line pointing towards the resistor because the voltage is flowing into the resistor. 
Now I'm going to uh, branch off of the junction and go to my next spot, which is going to be a capacitor. And the capacitor and the inductor are in uh, parallel with one another. So I'm going to put a zero right here. And then I'm going to put a capacitor down here. And I'll put an inductor down right here. OK, so that's our simple system. Now, with this system, um, you want to assign what's called a causal stroke. And what this causal stroke shows is basically where your uh, state variable is for your uh, system. Uh, and the state var variable basically is what you use to define your system. It's the, it's the values that are uh, w what you're trying to uh, find for. So um, in this system, it'll either be a uh, capacitor or an inductor. And you've got your uh, source effort, which uh, is where you always start when you're assigning causal strokes. Um, an effort, a source effort, is always going to push, so your causal stroke is going to be away. If this were a source flow, you would assign your causal stroke on the front side towards the uh, flow. But for an effort, you always assign it uh, away. So the one junction will always have uh, two causal strokes touching it, and then one being on the uh, outer away from it. So there's either going to be, uh, you can assign one of these on the inside and then the other one's going to have to be on the outside. And I'll explain how to figure that out in a second here. Um, but let's see where I want to go from this. Um, you've got an inductor and a capacitor. And a capacitor uh, ideally wants to uh, push an effort. So if it can have its way, it's going to want to go up here. And the inductor is going to want to be a flow, so ideally it's going to want its causal stroke um, over here pushing towards the zero. Um, sometimes they can't always have what they want, uh, and that would be called compliance. But uh, if it's integral causality, that means they're going to have their way and they're going to uh, be able to do it the way they want. So I'm just going to assign the inductor the way it wants to and the capacitor the way it wants to and we're going to see if this is going to work out. So uh, zero junction can only have one causal stroke uh, in its uh, general vicinity and right now it only has one. So from here I'd want to assign a causal stroke right here on this one and the resistor will have it either way. It doesn't have a preference and it looks like this is going to work, so I can put my resistance causal stroke right there. And we just assign the causal strokes to the system.